Hi everyone! I am here today on behalf of the Ferguson Library to teach all of you at home how to make your very own face mask. So to get started, you'll take your 9 by 14 inch piece of cotton fabric, your 4 by 1.25 inch cotton fabric for your nose strip, and then the ties will be made out of bias tape or a 48 inch by 1 inch piece of fabric, which we'll get to later. For your first step, you'll take your 9 by 14 inch piece of fabric and fold it in half right sides together. Next, we'll sew around the open edge using a quarter inch seam allowance, and you'll want to leave 1 to 2 inches open so we can turn it right side out. So let's go over to our sewing machine and get started. So we stitched our rectangle right sides together and we left our little opening here. So using the little opening that we left, let's turn this right side out. And if you really want to get in there and get the good corners, you can take a pen. Now we'll take where we left our hole right here, come back to our sewing machine, and sew this shut. Now this stitch will be on the outside, but since we'll be taking our ties, you won't be able to see those stitches at all. All right, we're ready to iron. Now we'll get ready for our pleats. So we'll start by putting pins in. Uh, the first one we're gonna do is five inches from the bottom. Next pin will be three and a half inches from the bottom, and then two inches. After that, to mark our pleats, we'll put another pin one inch just below those. I'll use two different pins. I had these yellow ones. I'll be switching to these normal dressmaker's pins. Now we have all of our pins, they're each about a half inch apart, and we'll start making our pleats by folding the yellow pins down on top of the silver pins. Secure the pleat by repinning it using either one of the pins.
now that we have our pleats, time to sew them in. First, fold the fabric in half down the length of the strip, wrong sides together, pressing as you go. Next, open the strip and fold the edges in towards the center crease you just made and press. Do this down the length of the strip. Finally, fold it in half again and press along the original center crease you made. Now that you've sewn your pleats, you'll want to pin the ties on. So first notice how the pleats open down and you've got a smaller piece and a wider piece. This wider piece here is your top, so that's important. You want wider at the top and you want your pleats to open down. To set the ties, take one tie, pull it end to end, meet these ends. This way you'll find your center. So you take the center of the tie, the center of the edge of the mask, and you'll lay it over the top because we're going to be top stitching these and you'll want to pin this in place, matching those edges as best you can. Now that we've pinned our binding with our wide pleat on top and all of our pleats facing down, we're ready to go back to our sewing machine and sew on our binding. Turn the sides in a quarter inch towards the center and press. Position the strip a quarter inch from the top, a wider band in the center, just like so. Secure in place with a pin. Stitch the nose piece in place, leaving one edge open. Now the side is open so you can insert a wire to better fit the mask to your face. And now you've made your very own mask. Thank you all, and I hope you all stay safe and healthy.